all and welcome back to the channel this is Ketul Patel and in this video we are going to see that how we can save a image from image view to gallery in Android studio so let's start the tutorial without wasting time so here I am in Android studio so first thing you need to do is go to your android manifest file and in this you need to write two permissions so the first permission that we need is users permission and name will be android dot write external storage and the second one will be users permission android dot permission dot read external storage so these are the two permission one is read external storage and one is write external storage so now let's close android manifest and in the previous video uh, i have created a layout uh, in which i was generating a qr code in an image view so i will be using that same one if you want to generate a QR code you can go to and check my previous video the link is in description so let me so here is the text and when I click on generate button it shows a QR code over here and this are the buttons for that I have assigned for uploading to the database so this is the image view and this is the upload button so after this upload button let's create one more button and name provide the id save gallery and let's name the button as save image so now when we will click on the save image button our qr code or the any image from the image view will be stored inside our gallery so let's save this and now let's go to our main activity class so main activity dot java class so let me minimize this all function so here uh, you forget all this one you just check that now let's button and get that save image button let's create a save image button over here and in our on create method we will get the save image button is equal to cast it with button find view by id r dot id dot save gallery so this is the id which, which we have provided in our xml file and this button which says save gallery so now let's create on click listener for this so for that save image dot set on click listener new view dot on click listener so it has created a on click listener for that and in this uh, we will call a function which will store the image to gallery so now let's create a function over here so private void save to gallery so i have create a save to gallery function over here and inside this function we will write our main logic but first let's call this 
let me minimize all this. Okay, so in our on click listener, uh, we will call this function. So call save to gallery function over here. And now let's go to our save to gallery function and write our logic to save the image from QR, uh, QR code image or image from image view to our gallery. So for that, first of all, uh, we will create a bitmap so bitmap drawable is equal to cast it with bitmap drawable and our image view so here you can see that we have an image view or the whichever image view you have created you need to get that image view over here so image view dot get drawable now right bitmap we will create a bitmap is equal to bitmap drawable dot get bitmap so what we have done is uh, first of all we have created a bitmap drawable and we got our image view in that bitmap drawable and then we are collecting that bitmap drawable into a bitmap now we will use the file function so file output stream so it's using it use basically java.io file so file output stream output stream is equal to let's assign null to that and create a file so file is equal to environment dot get external storage get external storage directory and close that now we will create a, a folder in our storage to save our images so let's say file the ir for directory is equal to new file and inside that provide our file that we have created so file dot get absolute path plus and let's say we create a folder my pics semicolon and finally to dir dot mkdir s so this will create a directory so dir dot make directories and now we will store that image into a format to our file so string file name is equal to string dot format and here first format and first fill to percentage d dot the extension that you want to save like say png comma system dot current time in milliseconds now again create a file say out files is equal to new file and provide our directory and our file over here so directory comma file name that we have created 
the string file name that we have created over here and finally now we will create a try catch block so first try and create a catch block provide exception e e dot bring stack trace and here in our try block write out file Here in our try block, here in our try block, we will use output stream that we have created over here. That is file output stream is equal to new file output stream, and we will pass our out file over here. So this is our out file that we are passing over here. And after our catch block, write bitmap dot compress bitmap dot compress format dot png or whichever you are using if you are using jpeg you can provide jpeg over there comma 100 that is the quality of the image comma our output stream file so this is basically this output stream file and again let's create a try catch block exception e and e dot bring stack trace and here in our output in our try catch block we will write output stream dot flush and we need to create one more try catch block close our output stream so try catch exception e and e dot e dot print stack trace and in our try block out put stream dot close so our code is completed over here so and one more thing that we have we need to do is we need to get the permission from the user so before calling this function provide activity compact dot request permission so main activity dot this uh, you need to provide the activity which you are in so currently I am in the main activity so I am provided main activity dot this comma new string and pass manifest dot manifest dot permission dot write external storage and comma one sorry one request code will be one and uh, we need one more activity one more permission that is read external storage so this will remain same just copy this down but change write external storage to read external storage and we are pretty much done now let's run our code and check whether it uh, it is working fine or not so here you can see that it is asking for the permission so click allow and now let's create a QR code so as you can see that uh, this is the image view where the QR code is generated now we will click on the save image button and this will stored inside our gallery so click on save image 
so now let's go to the gallery and check whether it is saved successfully or not so um, go to photos and you can see that our image is successfully saved over here so this is how you can store an image from an image view to the gallery so if you're getting any error while doing this process you can comment down below and if you want this code the link is in description you can go and download it so if you like the video press like button subscribe to the channel and stay connected for more of the videos thank you for watching